Good evening. Good evening. Blessings upon each of you. Thank you for um, thank you for tuning in as always. Uh, those of you who are on Facebook Live and uh, YouTube Live and those of you who are on the phone, uh, thank you so much uh, for, as always, uh, tuning in. I pray that you're well. Uh, good evening to each of you. Bless you. Listen, uh, would you do me a favor, please? Would you please um, like and share the video if you don't mind? Like, tag, and share if you don't mind. Um, those who may need to hear uh, a word from uh, God today, I appreciate you. Good evening to each of you. Let's pray. Now, God, how we thank you for this day. We love you because you first loved us. Uh, bless and breathe in our time together. We love you because you are good and you are God. Thank you for Jesus and the power of the Holy Ghost. It's in your name we do pray. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. All right. Tonight, I want to look at Psalm number 118. Psalm 118, uh, verses 6 and 7. Psalm number 118, verses 6 and 7. Psalm 118, verses 6 and 7. With the Lord on my side, I do not fear. What can mortals do to me? Uh, the Lord is on my side to help me. I shall look in triumph on those who hate me. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be, thanks be unto God. Uh, Chris Tomlin, Chris Tomlin said, I know who goes before me. I know who stands behind the God of angel armies is always by my side. I know who goes before me. I know who stands behind the God of angel armies is always by my side. Psalm 118 is actually a Psalm of victory. Um, all throughout scripture, uh, we see God being God. And um, as Chris Tomlin said, going before, uh, standing behind uh, those who were uh, in need, those who were desperate for deliverance, but yet those who have the wherewithal to actually call out on the name of God. We see that in Exodus. There was a pillar of cloud, uh, pillar of fire, beating God's people. We see throughout scripture that God has always been on the side of those who were marginalized, those who were um, in need, those who had enemies on their trail. Anybody out there ever had some enemies um, on your trail? Uh, people who were literally plotting and planning your demise. But uh, as Chris Tomlin said, the God of angel armies, the God who goes before, the God who is behind, the God of angel armies is always, is always on my side. I, I, I now know what it means uh, to hear um, the elders pray and say, uh, God, you have kept me from danger unseen and seen. How many battles have has God fought for you when you had no clue that you were even in danger? 
God has made ways for us where there was no way. And guess what? We had no clue that we were even in danger. And yet there are times, like in this text tonight, we know we're in danger. Because this psalm is a psalm of victory, a psalm where actually the writer of this psalm is giving thanks to God because God has delivered him. He opens up by saying, oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. And then he says, listen, I'm not just going to talk because God hadn't just been good to me. Let Israel say it. Let the house, let, let the house of Aaron say it. Let, let, let those who fear the Lord say it. And then he opens uh, up with verse five by saying, out of my distress, I called on the Lord. And here is the good news. The Lord answered me and set me in a broad place. He moves from um, praising God hmm, to testifying of why he's praising God. Anybody out there can praise God tonight and bless God tonight because you have a testimony that you called on the name of God in your distress. And guess what? We all have different types of stress and stresses because guess what? We all have something in our lives right now that's weighing on us that could cause us all type of calamity and trouble and heartache and heartbreak. And even in those moments of distress, even in those moments where you thought um, God was not going to make a way for you, you thought the enemy had the upper hand. But I hear the folk in my home church saying uh, back in Louisiana, if you pray and pray right, if you pray with some humility, if you pray uh, with, 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 with some thanksgiving, if you pray, God will hear and answer prayer. As a matter of fact, in Psalm 91, God says, that's why I delivered them and I can deliver you. Because guess what he says? I made a way for them because they acknowledged my name. They called my name. And when they called my name, I came to their rescue. So maybe tonight you need to make a habit of calling on the name of God. Out of my distress, he says, I called on the name of the Lord. It's, 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 it's one thing to call him. But it's something else when he answers. Elijah Bell, the prophets of Bell, rather. Elijah says, listen. He says, listen, you, 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 you call on your God because, you know, you, you, you say he's all that. Call him. And all day those prophets of Baal called on Baal and he didn't answer. But when Elijah called on his God, hmm, his God showed up. Who, who out there can testify that uh, when you called on your God, your God showed up. And then we move into our focal verses, which, is, which are verses six and seven. He says, listen, with the Lord on my side, I don't have fear. What, what, what can mortals do to me, he says. The Lord is on my side to help me. I shall look in triumph on those who, who hate me. Friends, um, 
reality is this. Everyone will not like you. Everyone does not like you. And there are people with hard hearts concerning you. And some people are just evil. As a matter of fact, if, if, if you could ask, ask, ask one fellow, his name is Jesus. Pharisees, Pharisees didn't really care for each other, but guess what? They hated him worse, him being Jesus. And let me show you how evil people can be from the life of Jesus. But beyond, beyond the beating and uh, the flogging and, 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 and him being crucified, let, let me show you how evil people can be. Uh, when they put that crown of thorns on the head of Jesus, in order to weave those thorns together, guess what? They had to prick their own fingers in order to get them together. But they were so evil that they didn't mind hurting themselves because their main ambition was to hurt him. And there are some people who are so evil and hateful in the world, they will stop at nothing to destroy your name, your reputation, and guess what? Some people are so hateful and evil, even if they have to plait a crown of thorns together for your head, they don't mind pricking their own fingers to endure some punishment as long, just as long as you suffer. And I hear you saying, well, Pastor, I don't bother anybody. I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't gossip about people. I don't, I don't intentionally hurt or harm or, or, or put anybody in harm's way. Um, why, why are people like that? Well, here is the big answer. People are people. <laughs> and some people are just hateful. But no one thing. As great as you may be, none of us can escape life without having enemies. None of us can escape uh, ministry, family, um, uh, your 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 job, your 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 circle. All of us will encounter enemies on certain levels in some shape, form, or fashion, but. The writer of this text gives us the key that when you experience enemies on your trail, Psalm 118 is proof that God can and will deliver you. All you have to do is out of your distress, out of your stress, out of your pain, out of your suffering, out of your displeasures. He says, call on the name of God. When you call, just don't call. Call believing and hoping and knowing that he'll answer you. Because he moves again from praising God. And then in verse 5, he shows you why he's praising God. He says, out of my distress. I called on the Lord. The Lord answered me. Yeah. Not, not, not what I heard. Not, 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 not what I read. I'm telling you what I know. He says, out of my distress, I called on the name of the Lord because guess what? In verse 10, he says, all nations surrounded me. Yeah. And sometimes you feel like that. You just don't know who to trust. You just don't really know who's being genuine concerning you because now people can be fake so good. People can lie so well. 
People, people can put on so well. People can look you right in the eye and tell you they got you. They support you. And I said a long time ago, your biggest enemy at some time, and in some occasion, and on, on some uh, levels, is not your enemy. It's fake friends who claim to be real. So now you literally have to watch out for your enemies and yet keep one eye on your so-called friends because you really don't know people's intentions toward you. But in verse six, he says, with the Lord on my side, I do not fear. He says, this is my declaration. I declare to you, I declare to Israel, I declare to those who read this longer after I'm off the, off the scene. What with the Lord on my side, I do not fear. I declare. Why? Because scripture says, if God be for us, he is more than the world against us. Scripture says, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Scripture says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear when the wicked came to eat of my flesh? They stumbled and they fell. Tonight, can you declare with boldness, with the Lord, on my side, I do not fear with the Lord, not, 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 not bay, not boo, not BFF, not bet, not, not, not best friend, uh, not, 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 not Glock, not 40 cal, not nine millimeter with the Lord on my side. I don't have to worry. Why? Because when I look back over the chasm of scripture, guess what? God has given me something to live on, something to eat, to digest, knowing I'm not the first one of his children who's ever had enemies on that trail. I, I'm not the first one to have people plot and plan my demise. I'm not the first one to have a Pharaoh on my trail, seeking to destroy not just me, but my family, my people, people who look like me, talk like me. But even in that, I declare with the Lord on my side, I have no need to fear. You see, you the only way you can say that with strength and power is you have to have gone through something. Folk, folk, folk can't say that if they ain't gone through nothing. Folk, folk can't declare that if they haven't been there. That, 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 that is the voice of someone who has been through hell and survived. That, 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 that's, the, that's, that's the voice of someone who has had enemies plot and plan and they survived. That, that, that's the voice of, of someone who has had a, 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 a friend so-called or someone close to them who they loved and held in high esteem to betray them, to stab them in the back, to cut their throat, to, to some someone someone in their face and the whole time that they're in your face they are plotting and planning your demise and guess what when you thought when you thought it was going to break you when you thought they had the upper hand god showed up why because in verse five you had the good sense and the wherewithal to call on the lord in your distress and when you call he answered, that's why verse 6 has so much power. Because guess what? He is speaking from 
experience. He is testifying on his own behalf. He is testifying on the behalf of Israel. He is testifying with the Lord on my side. I do not fear. Let people say what they say. Let people do what they do. Let people plot what they plot. And while they are doing what they're doing, plotting what they're plotting, and saying what they're saying, guess what you do? You call on God. You, you, you wait on God to fight the battle for you. That, 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 that's why Moses told Israel, stand still, be quiet, and watch God deliver you. And Moses was emphatic when he said, the enemies that you see today, you will see them no more forever. And guess what? In a few hours, the enemy, Pharaoh, his horse and horsemen, all drowned in the Red Sea. Friends, guess what? You don't have to fight and fuss and cuss on your behalf. Just call on God. And when God fights for you, guess what? He can do it so much better than you can. So let me ask you a question tonight. Can anybody ever declare? Put the Lord on my side. I don't have fear. I, uh, uh, I, 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 pardon this urban uh, 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 vernacular or uh, illustration. I think, uh, uh, a quote rather, I think it was Bone Crusher, the rapper, who said, I ain't never scared. Wh wh why, why do I have to be scared? So, so, so God, can, God, God can fight for Gideon? And his people, but he can't handle her. God can, God can kill Pharaoh, his horse, horsemen, but he can't handle them. This is not a lowercase G O D. This is uppercase. G O D. This, this is this is this, this, this is not some some lowercase God. This is Yahweh. This is Elohim. This is El Shaddai. This is this is Adonai. El Elyon. This is this is the God of gods, Lord of lords, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This is God. And when you have God on your side, be it at church in the boardroom, at home, in the family, in the marketplace. I don't care where you have enemies, courtroom. I don't care if God is God and if God is for you. I don't care what it looks like. Because here's the problem. We love to shout behind this. Weapons that formed against me won't prosper. We, we love to shout about that. Oh, my God. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. But here's the whole thing, church. They will form. The question is, would the formation of the plot, of the weapon, intimidate you to lose faith in the ending of the scripture, won't prosper. They will form. Enemies will come. Lies will be told. People will plot. Folk in your circle will betray you. Things will be said. Rumors will be spreaded. And you can't change that. Because weapons form, but the joy is they won't prosper. Why? Because I have the Lord on my side. And then he moved from the declaration to the question. What can mortals do to me? <laughs> what, 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 what can you do to me? 
What can you do to me? Even if you kill me, I still win. Why? Because to be absent from the body is to be in the presence of the Lord. Why do you think the Apostle Paul could die with such confidence? Jay, everybody's dead now. And when he should be scared, because Nero, the chopping block, is being sharpened for his neck. When he should be somewhere crying and lamenting, this dude says, well, my departure's at hand. I fought a good fight. I've kept the faith, man. I finished my course. And now that is laid up for me a crown of righteousness. Not, not just for me, but all those who love the Lord. What can mortal do to me? If, 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 if Nero takes my head and takes my life, he can't take my soul. My soul belongs to the immortals. It, it, it belongs to God. But what can you, what can you do? Okay, so you lie and I lose this job. Do, do you think God got a shortage of jobs and opportunities. I, I keep telling you all, God has no shortage of doors that he can open. Shut doors are a part of life. But God shuts doors to show you, to show me. I shut one door and the door that was shut, I, I, I let it be shut. I let it be shut. Okay, so uh, you plotted, you planned, you know, you 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 sued me, you took me to court, you did all kind of stuff. You 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 tried to take my money, you tried to do all, you know, you you just tried to sabotage me, man. Because guess what? Even when you are innocent, someone somewhere gonna believe you're guilty. And God wants them to believe it. So when he vindicates you, your enemies, your frenemies, and the world will know it was God who was on your side. What, what can mortals do to me, man? What, 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 you, what, what are you going to do now? You going to lie? Okay, well, been there. Start a rumor. Okay. Big man. You, you, you're going to blast me on, on social media? Okay. Well, you know. Because guess what? Here, here, here is the big picture. Those people who love you and believe you are going to love you and believe you regardless. And those who don't, I don't care what you say, what you do, how you do it. Guess what? Child of God, their minds concerning you already made up. You can walk on water. You can feed the multitude. You can raise the dead. You can heal the sick. Preach your best sermon, sing your best song. Guess what? They still ain't gonna like you. They still gonna lie. They still going to plot. They still going to plan. But when you hear something like this out of Exodus, I, I have seen the affliction of my people. I have heard that cry lamb come down that I might deliver them. Listen, church, when you have God as your ultimate deliverer, no mortal on earth can harm you. But here is the biggest reason. Because whatever happens to you is what God allows to happen to you. 
And like he allows it, he can stop it. And sometimes God allows enemies to plot and plan on you uh, and, 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 and it's forming. And it, it, and, it, and it looks like what they're doing and what they're saying is going to actually work. And they get boastful and comfortable in their foolishness. And could that be why the ancestors would say something like this? He's a lawyer who's never lost a case. He, he, he is a lawyer who, who has never lost a case. Because God can do so much more on your behalf than you can. What, what can mortals do to me? That's why sometimes you have to restrain yourself from giving off energy that you need to people that you can't change. It's a waste of time to argue with him. It is a waste of time to argue and fuss and cuss with her. What can she do? She better keep my name out of her mouth. That's her mouth. You, you can't tell her to do what. That's her mouth. Quit talking about me. That, that, that's that man's mouth. He can talk about you if he want to. Stop worrying about your name being in her mouth or his mouth and do what I told you to do in verse 5. Call on the name of the Lord in your distress. And when you do that, God does the rest. I'm done. I'm done. Bless you tonight. But in verse 7, we see the outcome. The Lord is on my side to help me. I shall, I shall look in triumph on those who hate me. He says, look here. Look here, man. Look here. The Lord is on my side. That, that, that's why I don't have to argue with you, fuss with you, cuss with you, get back at you, go at it with you over and over again. Why? Because the Lord is on my side. And when God is on your side, you don't have to verbally retaliate. But when God is on your side, you, 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 you ain't got to get back at them. All you have to do, all this stuff goes back to verse number five. Out of my distress, I called on the Lord. He says, when I look at my enemies, I look at them with a disposition of triumph. I don't care what they say, what they do, what they try. He says, I look at them through the eyes of victory. I, they hate me. <laughs> you, 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 have, have you ever seen people who don't like you and they hate you and they do their best to intimidate you and just stare you down, look at you. It's just. As if to say <laughs> that that bothers me because clearly you ain't back that life because you ain't moved. You, 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 you really ain't about that life. You, you, you really don't want this smoke. Can, can, can I say it again? You really don't want this smoke. Because if you did, you, you'd be, you, you, you would be on your feet by now. You, you don't want this smoke, Doc. Just sit there and look. That, that's all you do. With, 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 yeah, just sit there. Sit there. Because you, you really ain't about that life. Yeah. You, you, you really ain't about that life, though. Mm -mm, no. Because, see, you think staring at me going to make me uh, 
uh, fault. You 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 think eyeballing me gonna make me uncomfortable? You think uh, the 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 stare down thing is gonna make me scared? Uh uh-uh. uh. If you really about that life, get up and jump. Get up, do you ain't about that. So so all you gonna do is just stare. But your hands ain't moved. And that's 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 best for you. That's my flesh talking. But scripture says, stay all you want. Hate all you want. When I look at you, you see me through hate. I see you through victory. Because while you plotting, planning, and looking at me all cross-eyed, I have been calling on the name of the Lord. And I told God, this is too big for me. I don't have the time or the energy to even deal with this. Because you told me I didn't have to do it. You told me all I had to do was call on your name and you would handle the rest. Because you know the old me really want to say, since you staring at me, what you going to do? So that ain't, that, that's not of God. That, that ain't the godly way. You talk that smack from across the room. Social distancing. <laughs> but I ain't going to do all that. My victory ain't in my hands. My victory is in my prayer life. My, my victory is in calling on the name of Jehovah. The same God who told Gideon, Mm-mm, you got too many soldiers. Mm-mm. You got too many soldiers. Mm-mm. You got too many soldiers. Well, God, what you mean? No, I want you to have less people to fight because I want to fight for you. And some of you are tripping tonight because they got more money. They got a better lawyer. Uh, um, uh, they, they, they got better contacts. And you, you some of them are tripping. I don't have what they have. It's four against one. It's them against me. I uh, Nobody ain't going to believe me. My voice don't matter. Guess what? God has you there on purpose because he wants the outcome to be the Lord is on my side. Gideon won the battle with less people. Because what you don't need is people in the way of a victory that God is trying to give to you. God lets you have the crappy, bad attorney on purpose. God let the lawyer quit on you on purpose. God let the the witnesses or the people uh, who saw, the he let them, he let them be who they are. He let your coworker do what he did. He let your boss do what he did. He let the people around you say and do what they said. And you thought, I can't. It's just me. And God says, I want it just to be just you. So when I step in and make a way, you will know and they will know it was the Lord who was on your side. Amen. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be unto God. Tonight, church, celebrate that no matter who says what or who does what, you have the Lord God Almighty on your side. Blessings upon each of you. Amen. Listen, you can give tonight. Um, you know, uh, tithe, offering. You can give tonight if you desire. Um, yeah, you can bless the pastor with a love offering if you desire via Cash App if you desire. Um, also, um, this is first Sunday coming up. Yeah, prepare your prepare your 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 elements for uh, virtual 
Lord's Supper uh, this Sunday, 8 a.m. And uh, yeah, we look forward to receiving you all back in on the first Sunday in August as well. Bless you. We're st also, we're still praying for the uh, family of Sister Drayton, uh, who we laid to rest on yesterday. We're praying for her daughters uh, and her, her siblings, which includes our member, uh, Miss Day, and her daughter, Daisy, who's an active member of our church as well. All right. Bless you. Thank you so much. Let me bless you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. Be gracious unto you. May he give you peace. I bless your homes. I bless your families. I bless your health, your wealth. If you're having a hard time, press on, pray on, knowing this one thing. Hmm. Trouble won't last always. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, we do pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a good night. Bye-bye.